Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode for the Coaching Conversations podcast. Now, we are on Stitcher, we are on iTunes, and multiple different channels. Please check us out. Now, one of the things that you'll get out of our podcast episodes is a lot of content, a lot of strategy. It's not fluff, it's not concept. Yet we really want you to engage with the content and let us know your feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. If there's topics you'd love to have us address, we would love to share them with you. Let us know your impact and let us know your feedback. So where will AI fit into the coaching world? You know, AI is really going to take on a lot of different elements from people going into an AI tool and self-coaching to leaders prescribing an AI tool for self-coaching. AI can also be utilized to leverage content. And you're going to hear the term chat GPT, but now you can actually build your own GPTs. There's a lot of different tools to create this, everybody. Now, let's go back to the fundamentals of coaching people in the workplace. Let's take the traditional relationship between a leader and an employee, which is where we play in terms of our company progress coaching. So when you are coaching somebody and you might coach them on, let's say, being a better teammate, you might use an AI tool as a supplemental coaching strategy. Here's one of the most fundamental things that I think about with AI. Now, keep one thing in mind. We've built out three or four of our own AI tools. We are not against AI, yet I'm going to make a strong comment. One of the things that we have to be very careful of with artificial intelligence for workplace coaching is not using it as a tool to replace human-based coaching. Here's why. If 85% of people lack self-awareness, and that is according to a study by Tasha Yurik in her book, New York Times bestseller called Insight, if 71% of people, according to the Gallup organization, are neutral or actively disengaged, then we can't assume somebody's going to say, you know what, boss, give me an AI tool. My attitude is terrible. It's probably not going to happen. Also, Gallup reports that people engage eight times more when we lead with somebody's strengths. An AI tool is not going to know that, certainly not right out of the gate. So it might start asking questions right away. So if an AI tool asks a question such as, do you feel like you're a good teammate? And I'm using a rough example here. What is somebody going to say? No, I'm terrible. They're going to say yes, of course, because they lack self-awareness. They're probably going to be neutral or actively disengaged. So the challenge that we have, and this is, I think, a major lesson for organizations and its leaders, make sure you're using AI as part of your strategy. Make sure it's a prescriptive tool, not the entire tool, because something's going to happen magically at the end of the year. You're going to do the end of the year review. If you are a leader and you are not coaching and you're using the data from an AI tool, and the AI tool could be 100% right, it could do a phenomenal job, that lack of intimate conversation. And if you were to say to somebody, well, I have you, you know, average across the board, or you're only going to get a 2% raise or whatever it might be, that employee will immediately go to the stratosphere of you haven't spent time with me. How would you know? Then they're going to start to weaponize. It's a terrible term, but I'll use it. Weaponize AI against leadership. You're not spending time with me. I'm doing all this work. We've got to be careful and make sure that AI is part of a strategy and not the entire solution in the workplace. Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called coach to you where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign 7 to 21-day programs for employees to learn and more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.